Hey, everybody. <laughs> What's up? Uh, uh, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and what you're doing here. Samantha. Uh huh. What are you doing here? Oh, we're on spring break. Oh God. <laughs> uh, what was your name? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah and Samantha on spring break from from where? Pasadena City College. Pasadena City College. That's the big one. <laughs> Why are you in the horse's stable? Why are they here? <laughs> I see you're stamping. <laughs> Why didn't you invite me? Is it because I'm a creepy 50-year-old man and that would be weird? <laughs> Don't pretend that that is... It's a rhetorical question. I know it would be weird. It's fine. It's fine. I'm glad that you guys are having fun. But I have to tell you, ladies, this is not a real horse. Oh. <laughs> Not a real horse. It's two guys. <laughs> two guys that begged me to get you over here from lesbian <laughs> world. Why are you staring at me like that? You're freaking me out. Are you trying to hypnotize me in some way? Wait then, do it then. Do it. Whoa. Hey, I, uh... I'm le I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. And when I what what else am I doing when I'm leaving? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> clo clo close the door. All right then. Can I? Well, you won't. Uh, here says uh, Twilight Bella doll. <laughs> Have a great time, you guys. Don't forget to. Oh, the door doesn't close. That would have been great. <laughs> Do you know how you can tell I love Fridays, Jeff? How's that? Regarding my nipples. <laughs> They're perky. They're perky because it's Friday and... That's about it. Uh, but <laughs> there's a new survey out. Now, a new survey means that that's something to talk about in late night, right? Oh, yeah. yeah because you can't do a late night monologue without saying a new survey out. You're like, ah, yeah, yeah, a new survey out. Right, am I right there? Say, hey, can you tell us about that new survey? Oh, uh, you bet I will. Come on. Rump from the band who don't exist. But all of that. <laughs> There's a new, a, a new survey. A survey. Ooh. Jeff, ask me what Sean Connery calls a survey. Hey, what does uh, Sean Connery call a survey? A survey. <laughs> well played, sir. There's a new survey that shows that 57% of men prefer a French maid outfit when role-playing with her in the bedroom with a wife or girlfriend. And I'm like, I'd like to try that, but it's so difficult getting one in my size. But no! There you are! Yeah. You see? Yeah. An actual joke. An actual joke. You know, they say he comes out there, he doesn't even say any jokes. What the f*** was that then if it wasn't a joke? 
Now, I'm very excited because there's a big movie out today. Oz, the Great and Powerful. You get the poster for it? Now, look at that. There's a, the balloon there and stuff. It's awesome. <laughs> It's a prequel to The Wizard of Oz. I'm thinking, this is a little risky, making a prequel to... It's like, a, a, that movie's an American icon, that movie. You can't... A prequel? That's like the French making us a prequel to the Statue of Liberty. You can't do that. I call it Liberty to Freedom. He's <laughs> a... But he symbolizes... <laughs> Sorry. Little person of freedom. Sorry. I, I hope this movie isn't some hipster version of The Wizard of Oz. I'd be very upset. You know, the Tin Man gets taken to the recycling center and the <laughs> scarecrow is exchanged for a sparkly vampire that cares about your feelings and <laughs> Dorothy wears ruby crocs and does the Harlem Shake or something. <laughs> By the way, here's a tip. If I know about the Harlem Shake, it means it's over. <laughs> I know about it. It's over. That, let that be your barometer, young people that enjoy trendy things. The minute the 50-year-old white guy knows about it, it is no longer relevant to you. <laughs> anyway, this prequel to The Wizard of Oz, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it could be great. George Lucas made these Star Wars prequels and they turned out great. <laughs> you think Jar Jar Binks is in this thing? Oh, that'd be exciting. Wait, you're saying the opposite of what you feel. <laughs> no, no, Jar Jar's a good friend. Are you kidding me? No, sometimes he dresses up in a maid outfit. No, all right, that's enough. Anyway. <laughs> also, I'm thinking they could have come up with a better title than Oz, the Great and Powerful. It reveals too much. It leaves nothing to the imagination. It's like making a movie about me and calling it Ferguson, the ticklish and uncircumcised. <laughs> then you just know everything. <laughs> I'm European. By the time I got here, it was a little too late, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, we can, uh, no, I'm fine, I'll just uh, take the passport, thanks. <laughs> you sure you don't want that? No. It looks, I know how it looks, just leave it be. <laughs> I like it anyway, it makes my wiener look like a snowboarder. <laughs> it looks... That's nice. It's like a, a snowboarding anteater, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I, this is the one. This is the Emmy, this is isn't it? it? This is it. Yeah, yeah. this is the one. Anyway. <laughs> The, uh, the, Wizard, uh, the new movie, uh, the Oz movie, is inspired by L. Frank Baum's uh, Wizard of Oz books. He actually wrote dozens of sequels to the original. There was uh, the Wizard of Oz, then there was the uh, Blizzard of Oz, then uh, Ozfest. Uh, you got any? Uh, are you there, Oz? It's me, Toto. Not bad. Uh, oh, here's one, here's one. What you talking about, wizard? Yeah, that's, a, that's a good one. All right, yeah. Uh, crouching Munchkin, Hidden Scarecrow. Not bad. Uh, yeah. No, you, you don't have any more? Oh, you can try two, another one. Uh, two Oz, two Furious? Yeah, that's not bad, yeah. I got one. Here's my... Yeah, this'll be good. Yeah. Harry Ozer and the Ozblit of Fire. Yeah, yeah. The hell, man? That was funny. People <laughs> laugh. No, no, no. No, you freaked them out. They're still thinking about my, you know, snowboarding anteater. Yeah, yeah. They're like... <laughs> hey, up here, you guys. Up here. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, the Wizard of Oz. I love that movie. The, the parts of it are scary, though. Like the, when the witch sends all these flying monkeys after Dorothy. It's terrifying, these thousands of evil hairy creatures in little outfits. And all hairy and horrible and frightening. You could probably do a Kardashian joke here, actually, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Right here. If it was a proper late night show, right there, that's where your Kardashian joke sits. Right there. Yeah, this is... You like describe a... the hairy, and then you go, Kar Kardashian! <laughs> Like a, like a comedy how-to right here. Right. Yeah. I wish these kids were here that were here last night in that class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, in the new movie, uh, James Franco plays the man who eventually becomes Oz. You know, he's a con man who tries to trick gullible people into thinking he has special talents. I don't know what he does in the movie, but the, uh... <laughs> yeah. See what I did? See what yeah, I did? Man. Yeah, you take, take a beloved celebrity and then... <laughs> That's a late night trick as yeah, well. Did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Franco's performance, though, is already generating Oscar talk, as in people are saying, hey, isn't that the guy that ruined the Oscars a couple of years ago? <laughs> bad for James Franco as being the guy who, you know, they, you know, they remember him as the guy who ruined the Oscars. Like, halfway through, remember, the Oscars, halfway through, he realized that the audience hated him. He just kind of gave up. And I respect that. I wish I had the balls to do it. I mean, then the show would be five minutes long every night. Right? <laughs> <laughs> think I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm done. Well, I think, let's, you know. uh, let's go out with like a sight gag. Sight gag? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I see where this is going. No, no, no. No, you want to do an anteatery snowboarding no, no. thing. No. It's a Wizard of Oz thing. You're going to do a sight gag Wizard of Oz thing? Come, come over here and stand by me. All right, then. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Well, you're still in shape. Well, yeah. yeah. St st stand behind me. Stand, stand behind you? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Pay no attention to the snowboarding anteater behind ah, the door. We'll be back after this. Weird that, if you don't mind me saying so. It's a little, uh, a little creepy. Mind you, then again, I must remember, it's not a real I can horse. <laughs> it's a couple of young gentlemen that wanted to meet a couple of young girls. I think I, I'm, I'm like that millionaire matchmaker. Have you ever seen that oh, show? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that's the kind of woman you want setting you up. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you don't have a partner, you should get that. Have you ever seen that woman? Have we determined that she's a woman? Yeah, she's definitely a woman. Oh, not definitely, but yeah, I don't okay. look, I don't know. All right. Anyway, that with a millionaire matchmaker lady, she sets yeah, yeah. people up. She sets you up with a millionaire. Well, what the hell, man? Where's my and millionaire? That, and listen, that, that woman knows how to get a man and keep him. She's 50 years old and single. <laughs> What's going on? In... What I'm saying, everyone, is consider the source. <laughs> For example, if you're angry at anything I've said, I'm just a buffoon on late night television. It's not serious, it's not dangerous, right, Jeff? That's correct, Craig. Right. And we're back from that edit there. <laughs> oh, oh boy, yeah. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's three mail time. Time to take advice from a man who's decided to go full James Franco for the remainder of the show. Oh, come on. That's unfair. I, I deeply care what these people... I am not giving up. I'm trying my very best. Look, trying my very best. Really want you to like me. Really want you to love my buns. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. Nothing weird about what happened there. Nope, nope. Nothing weird about what happened there. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? I, I, I already told you, man. Oh, you did? You did that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, did we do an old uh, a joke for old people no, tonight? No, we did just now, though. I all right, then, all right. Well, then do it, then. Put the thing up. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> I didn't get a joke specially for me. Yes, you did. <laughs> All right. Um, have we uh, tweets and emails, right? Did yeah, we, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, tweets and emails. Yeah. All right. Um, this is from Alice in Davenport, in Iowa. Dear Craig and Jeff, can you help me pick out two movies to go and see this weekend? Thanks. Well, uh, I'd go and see the the Oz movie. Go and see that. Oh, that's that's the yeah, one. Yeah, and that's pretty long, so that'll be enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
This is from Sarah in Denver, Colorado. You ever been there? Beautiful place. Well, I, you know what I like about Denver? What's you it? get in the plane, the plane climbs up, it gets to altitude, then it stops and you get out and you're in Denver. That's right. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Sarah says, uh, hi Craig, which do you prefer? This is weird, this is a co you'll see why this is a coincidence. <laughs> which do you prefer, skiing or snowboarding? <laughs> well, I enjoy, I, I actually prefer skiing, but I'm kind of, I have snowboarding thrust upon me. This is from uh, Danielle in Northport, New York. You ever been there? Beautiful. Northport, what a beautiful town that is this time of year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just... Uh, what's your favorite part of Northport? The, the port. <laughs> so the north Yeah, part. the northern port. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Dear Craig, my last boyfriend just told me he made a big mistake when we broke up and wants to get back together. I'm tempted. Any advice? Ooh, I don't know. What do you think, girls in the horse box with Secretariat? <laughs> yeah, you were talking to each other. That's why I said it! Let me tell you something, ladies. It might be spring break for you, but it's not spring break here. <laughs> but do, should she see him again or not? What do you think? No. No. no what do you no. What do you think? <laughs> no. You both You both think no? Yeah. <laughs> you guys really love Taylor Swift, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> that was a young people joke, yeah. right there. Hey, that was a young people joke. Let me, uh, hang on, hang on. I'm just going to explain the joke for the older folks. <laughs> Taylor Swift's a singer and she, she goes out with these boys and then she, you know, she breaks up with them and then sings about how they're all so rotten and I'm thinking, well, wait, hang on a minute, Taylor Swift. There's a lot of them and one of you. What's the common denominator here? <laughs> It's like there's an old saying, and I kind of believe a bit. If one person calls you a duck, they're an idiot. If two people calls you, call you a duck, they start uh -oh. quacking. <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope you do, because I've completely lost track of what the hell no, I'm talking about. That was good. No, I, All right. I, I, this is from uh, Adomus in Genova in Lithuania. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dear Craig Ferguson, I think this is an official letter. <laughs> Are you now planning to visit our neighbours in Latvia? Will you also please come to Lithuania? Thank you. Indeed I will. I'll be making a state visit to all of the Baltic countries. <laughs> this is another one from overseas. Look, this is from David in Wollongong in New South Wales in Australia. You ever been to Wollongong? Oh, Wollongong. Ah, it's a great place. You ever been to Wollongong? I love it there. Love it there. What's your favourite part of Wollongong then? The uh, snowboarding. <laughs> Any of you guys have uh, been to Australia? I have. You have? I have. <laughs> uh, what, did you ever go to Wollongo? No. <laughs> then you've never been to Australia, young lady. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, we Australians are now worried that you're planning a trip to Eastern Europe and not here to Australia. How do they know this so quickly? <laughs> Will you come to Australia? Yeah, uh, uh, do. <laughs> I gotta tell you this thing very quickly. I know we're out of time. So I got this uh, letter. <laughs> I got this letter the other day. They said this people. I won't tell you who they are because they'll be embarrassed. But they said, "Would you like to come to our uh, our festival? We'd like to give you an award for your work." I was like, "Oh, I'd I'd love the award, but sadly I wouldn't be able to make it uh, scheduling." And they said, "Well, then you can't have the award." <laughs> <laughs> It was a real award, Jeff. No, no, sir. All right. <laughs> this is from Evan in Spokane, Washington. It says, Dear Craig, could you tell me the best way to buy a copy of your stand up comedy special that I just read about? Oh, wow. Thanks, pal. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's on Netflix. <laughs> Which, it's on Netflix. Yeah, 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 it's available on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. I think we said it enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is from Mary in Cincinnati, Ohio. Dear Craig, Jeff, and the gang. The gang? Oh, I guess they knew you were going to be here tonight, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know Mary in Cincinnati? No. Uh, the horse does. <laughs> uh, all right. And uh, finally, this is from Winnie in Taos, New Mexico. Now, that's the place. Oh, that? yeah. That's the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Jeff, ask me who my first new friend is tonight. Who's your first new friend, Craig? I'll tell you, Jeff. He's a great actor. His new show, Golden Boy, is on Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock. On... Golden Boy, is that a sex thing? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> It's on Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock on CBS. Take a look at this. The great Chai McBride, everybody, Chai McBride. Yo, before we get started, look, look in this camera right here and get something straight, okay? The show is not moving, okay? The show aired one time on Friday night. That's what CBS did. I don't know, somebody in programming might have had a little too much weed put in the wrong tape. <laughs> but the show is on Tuesday night at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. Central. Did so I now. say Friday? No, no, they, they, you know, Friday. No, no, Friday, they aired it tonight. They, oh, they, they aired it tonight. Yeah, one, yeah. just one. That's yeah. it. Just yeah, I, one. I, I watched it. Okay, it was, so it was it's awesome. Tuesday night at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. Central. All, all right, get all right. Yeah, yeah, let's I'm trying to buy a lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I got, I got. Do your thing. You know, you show you. Go yeah, man. Your I got, I got a kid in private school, man. Right. It's expensive. Yes, I can't it be, is. You know, can't be you getting got, fired, got, can't lose my job, man. You crazy? <laughs> no, you got a job these days. You got to be happy. Yeah, I'm very happy about it. Hey, listen. It. So speaking of that same subject, like I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that you're not politically correct. You know, because I, I don't know about y'all, but I've had it with political correctness. I mean, I, I, I just, I've had it. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had it. And everything is about, you know, that and save the planet. This, I'm on a crusade. Have you seen these new waterless urinals? Have you seen this? Have any of y'all seen this? What? Speak up. Yeah. Let me tell you something. They got waterless. That's some nasty. I guess. Okay. I'm t no pun intended, but it is nasty. You know what I mean? It's like we got to save water. Save it for what? One of the best uses of water is to wash away some... Ooh la la. <laughs> I, it, so I got to get rid of these things. I'm send, sending out a petition. I'm, I'm getting rid of them, man. Drive me crazy. So how you doing, Chai? Huh? I mean, other than that, you it, know, you, walk, all right? you got 10 strangers, you know, liquids in, in front of you. That's, mm, well, you know, that. look, 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 look. I, I got to tell you, Chai, things have changed since the last time you were on the show. We've gone classy. Oh. All right, so. I know you got a new set. We got, a, got a new set. I remember we got the old ghetto of... set when I used to have to call you Craig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. the old set. Uh, you got to, you yeah, that's just different. Now. No, this it's is like a swanky mid level hotel near the airport. This is sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Wood paneling and crushed velvet. Crushed yeah. velvet. Crushed velvet. Somebody yeah, got to yeah, bring yeah. that back. Yeah. That's it's nice. It's right there. It's, it's back. Pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Hey, listen, the, the Golden Boy show, right? That that guy you, who's playing the Golden Boy? Yeah. I think that's a sex thing, by the way. Golden Boy. A Golden Boy. I think you would think that. I think it is. Yeah, you would think something yeah, like that. I would, but yeah. I know all the girls love him. Theo James. And, yeah, that's uh, the guy who was in Downton Abbey. In Downton died. Abbey. Yeah, that died after he. Can you imagine this woman trying to get a date after that? Yeah, so, because I mean, she has a date with this guy, and then he died. He had he sex died with him one time, and he dropped dead. So you know, you want to stay away from that. <laughs> this is a weird thing, though. If I heard about that, if I was single, you know, yeah. I, like if I heard about that, yeah. like the, you know, she, she, you know, she slept with this guy, and then he died, I'd be like, I'm going. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yes, I gotta do it. No, no. I gotta no. do it. I gotta have some mm. to see if I can live through it. Yes, no. I do. No. But, uh, you know, the new show is on. We shot it all in New York and uh, had a real good That's time nice. in New York for six months. Yeah. It's cool because in New York, you know, you could be shooting a cop show, and while you're shooting, somebody can be in the background really stealing a car. Yeah. So, you know, it's just for the realism. Well, then, then you get that, and you put that in the show, and you can maybe solve real crimes. Let you can make a you difference. You know in the what? 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 We've got detectives on the show, right? I will never, ever not believe anything that somebody put on TV again because the real stories from I real detectives crazy. Crazy. are bananas. The guy, the guy that was a consultant on our show told us about his first murder case and how he solved it. They go to this house. This woman's been murdered, stabbed in the neck with a screwdriver, all ah. right? They talk to the neighbors. The neighbors like, yeah, it was a boyfriend. They always fighting all the time. They was fist to cuffs and a whole bunch of noise, people slamming in the walls. They go to the boyfriend's house. He opens the door. Sure enough, he got a black eye. He's got a fat lip. Come on, you murdered this girl. You come with No, man. She whooped my ass. I was in the hospital when all this stuff happened. They checked the hospital. Sure enough, homeboy's in the hospital. The case goes cold for five years. Some guy gets locked up at Rikers, right? And when you get locked up at Rikers, they take your DNA. They took his DNA. It matched some DNA that was at that crime scene five years ago. What the hell? So... <laughs> 
they go and they grab one, but he said, look, you killed this girl. He's like, no, I didn't do it. He said, no, man, we got your DNA. DNA is right there. It's right there. He said, right okay, well, yeah, I, I did it, <laughs> but, but, but it was self-defense. <laughs> yeah, turns out, you know what I'm saying? So it turns out, homeboy had gone to mm. with a pocket full of crack rocks. And this girl, who was a crack... Hold on, hold on a second. Fast food outlet. <laughs> So the girl, the victim, who happened to be a crackhead, came up to him and said, hey, you got some crack on you? She was like, yeah, you want to smoke it? She said, yeah. He said, well, we going to have sex, right? He said, yeah. So they go back to the, her apartment. They having sex and smoking crack. And then later on in the evening, <laughs> she's pleasuring him. You know what I mean. So she's doing that. She looks up at him. OK, look. So she looks up at him and says, hey, uh, you got any more crack? He was like, no. He said, you got any more money to get some crack? He said, no. She was furious and took a bite out of crime. Oh! So, I kid you not. He picks up a screwdriver, stabs in the neck, and that's oh! the neck. Now, if you went into CBS to try to pitch that as an episode of the show, <laughs> they would laugh your ass right out of the office. Now, NBC might do it. Yeah, NBC might do it, yeah. But, but, right, but right. not CBS. No. We'll be right back with Charlie Ryan. I'm here with Chai McBride. We're out of time, man. That's all right. No, we're, 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 we're out of time. Oh, y'all like that story, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, how much of that story are they going to see? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, it's going to be tricky. It'll yeah. be some tricky editing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Luckily, we're live, but the editor is very fast. Good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So uh, it'll be it'll be fine. It's a, it's a pretty a pretty dirty, uh, weird kind of like creepy. And I didn't hey, hey, no, don't, don't tell me anymore. Nah, 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 nah. Words or nothing. No, no, it's just the entire subject matter of the whole thing is a little grisly. Is what well, I'm saying. I mean, you know, it's real gritty crime in the city, man. It's you know, yeah, but this is you know, it's me, a gay skeleton, and there's a horse, and there's a couple of <laughs> there's a couple of kids on spring break. You freaked them out. <laughs> You got a gay robot and two chicks and a horse with a sta in a stable with a horse. Yeah, no, no, and, no. And that, you that, can't that, handle a dirty story. No, no. That, 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 that thing right there writes itself. <laughs> the live edition of the Friday Night Show, right, Jeff? Yes, we're live. <laughs> Ask me who my next friend is. Who's your next friend, Craig? I'll tell you, Jeff. O okay. <laughs> She's a very talented actress. She stars on The Walking Dead, uh -huh, which airs Sundays on AMC. Take a look at this. Sensational! Look at you. You look fantastic. I'm really pleased to see you. Thank you. No, I mean, just, just very, very happy about the whole thing. I kind of match your tie. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> We'd have to put them closer together to make sure. Holy crackers. All right. <laughs> Congratulations on The Walking Dead show. It's the biggest show in the history of television. Huge. Thank you. Thank you, right? Yeah. People are... Now, people are crazy for this show. You got a lot of people who are very obsessed with a little, maybe a little too obsessed with the show. They're going to be stalking you for a long time. Like me. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it too. Okay. You get a lot of that? You get a lot of attention? Um, I do. I mean, I, the fans are very passionate and they don't really know the difference between the actors and the characters. So, like right now, a lot of people are upset with Andrea because she hooked up with the sociopathic villain of the piece. So, if I go to Coffee Bean or the gas station or. You know, Hugo's Tacos, people stop me and say, you need to get away from him. And it's like, okay, note well, to know, self. It's kind of like a cross between the zombie apocalypse show and people's stories, really. You know, their stories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is what it is, but zombie, I mean, zombie. Can I ask you a question about zombies? I've got a thing going with zombies. Do they poop? <laughs> 
What do you think? Well, you know, they eat, right? They eat brains. So, I mean, it's got to go It's got to go somewhere. It's got to go somewhere. Right, or else they'd get fat zombies. Nobody wants a fat zombie. I, I don't think they exist, fat zombies. I don't think zombies exist, if you want to go in that direction. <laughs> It was like, like thin zombies exist, but fat zombies... No, I mean, like... Uh, but let's, let's stay with the premise that zombies do exist. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't they get fat if they didn't poop? So, therefore, they must poop, logically. I think they do. Right. Yeah. So, if they poop, you can track them. That's, that's a good note. I'll yeah, put that in you, mind. You want to tell those geniuses right in that zombie apocalypse show? Do it, I, can I be the tracker? I'd like to be the grizzle tracker. I'd go, there are zombies around here. I can Follow smell the poop. Their, yeah. Everybody, follow this. Uh, there it is. It was here a while ago. Where are you from? I'm Canadian. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. I've got people in Canada. No, but you performed in Canada at Massey Hall. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. A number of times. Have you ever been to Massey Hall? Um, I think I have. It's a nice place. Yeah. Are you from Toronto? Yes. Oh, I like... Can you say Toronto like people from Toronto say Toronto? Toronto. Toronto. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. They just roll it right out. Roll it right out. Toronto. Are you excited to be in America with all our amenities? Um, <laughs> First of all, <laughs> it's a joke. I'm half American. Are you? Yeah, my father was a New Yorker. Ah, right. So I, I, I like to embrace the the best of both worlds. Okay. Yes. Where do you live? Atlanta. Well, that's American. Yeah, that's American. Yeah. That, that's, that's where I, I do my zombie show. Right. Oh, right, right. Of course. Atlanta's very nice. Oh, the roads, though, everything's called peach tree. How'd you get around? It's very But well, you know what's really weird about that? Yeah. I never see peach trees. Really? Yeah. No, it never it's actually It's like they chopped trees. them all down. Yeah, they chopped them all down to make signs that say peach tree. That's what happened. <laughs> I know, it's like a conspiracy. I think there used to be a lot of peach trees there, and then something probably really bad happened that I'm going to get a lot of letters about it. That's, that's my guess. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. How's the southern accent? Do you like that? I don't have to do a southern accent, because my character... No, 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 I mean, but you live in Atlanta. Oh, you're going to hear it. Um, yeah. Well, you know what? I love the southern people because... They're kind, they have manners, they call me Miss Lori. Men open doors. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like a Men will open doors for you in the north, too, my dear. <laughs> yeah. If you cross the Mason-Dixon line, doors will still be flying open for you for a long time. All You'll right, be all right. all right. All the way to Canada, I think, come on in, eh? They'd be fine. <laughs> Even Scotland. You ever been there? Yes, I have. Really? Yes, I went to, um, I went to the Highlands, and, uh, and I'm really kind of bummed because I didn't buy a Nessie. Oh, uh, well, like a... Uh, yeah, like a little thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got a tattoo. Oh, cool. Yeah, but it's not of Nessie, but I just wanted to show it to you. <laughs> But it's not, I mean, it's not a real monster. It's kind of like my, uh, my horse. It's not a real horse, you know. It's just it's a joke. That's true. Well, what I love about Nessie is that every time you go into a little gift shop, um, that's the Loch Ness monster. He, um, oh, they know. Oh. Yeah. He has a little smile. Yeah, it's a she. It's a she. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Nessie. Nessie. Yeah. Did you go to Loch Ness? Uh, no, I just kind of, like... Well, see, here. that's a problem. You go to Loch Ness, you can't move for Nessies. They, they got a ton of them there. Here, you want a Nessie? Yeah. Can I open that door for you, young lady? That's all of that. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Next time. Did you did you go around Europe? Um, well, I've, I've I've lived in Europe at different times. That was just a specific. Um, really, which part of Europe did you live in? Oh, England, Malta, France. Malta. Yes. Wow, how fascinating! I've yeah. never been to Malta. What's it like? It's amazing. It's yeah. uh, it kind of feels like Mars. It's no, no, just the, no, another place that I've still yet to go to. No, just the landscape is very, very different. I was there when I was a kid, so All right. um, my parents are in the business, so I went to different, um, you know, schools. Oh, your parents are actors? Uh, directors, actors, yeah. Oh, nice. You traveled around film sets and stuff? Yes. Oh, how terribly glamorous. Mm, not so much. Well, that's the thing, though. There'll be no glamour in it for you. It'll be completely demystified, right? It's kind of a job. Yeah, it's kind of like just how I grew up. So didn't, you, didn't you rebel against it? And yes, say, I did. Oh, really? I did, because when I was born, they were like, oh, we wanted to be an actress. And I was like, oh, you know, I wanted to do my own well, thing. a lot of babies are like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there was more than that. Right, right. And uh, I wanted to be an investment banker, and they just, you know, they didn't want to speak to me for years. Did you study investment banking? Yes, I went to McGill. I studied economics, and then uh, I wow. woke up and was like, okay, I want to be an actress. Because I'd give you all my money. I'd be like, invest that Would wherever you? you want. You still can. Yeah, no, I, there's not much to give, but you can have it if you want it. I got, actually, I got some Canadian money right here in some bags. Well, it's actually worth the same as uh, American money now. Parity? Yeah. That's not good. Mm. It's not good for the Canadian economy. You know that. Oh, no, I know. I know. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> 
But you know, it's really funny. Um, supposedly, I've got Scottish descent. Really? Yes. Um, Where? I don't know, so, somewhere in my, my, my mother's side of the family, and I, um, I got a role playing a Scottish girl, and I had no time to prepare, and it was a Canadian holiday, so I went to a Scottish bar, and I literally uh, dictaphoned all of the drunk <laughs> sc Scottish people. <laughs> yeah. And, and no one was dictaphoning me when I was drinking. <laughs> They were, but he didn't look like you. It was like, you know. but um, but it was hilarious because at first it was really helpful, and then they were like, as the, the the and I was desperate. I was like, please, like I need to sound authentic, you know. So they were like, oh yeah, and then they'd be like, I wouldn't say that line. Oh, they were looking at your script. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't I, show them their, their script. I needed it. I was desperate. Oh, I see. But the actual words. Well, yeah, you could have called me. I'd have helped you. I didn't know you then. Well, and also, you know what? I apparently my accent is gone. It's not. <laughs> I get told that when I go to Scotland, they say, you don't sound Scottish anymore, you sound like an American. I think it's just because... Yeah, the, R's, just of... the R's haven't changed at all, correct? Right. Yeah. Well, my R's is exactly the same as it was when I first came. Time. What do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, uh, you could play the trombone, you could... I'd like to play a musical instrument. <laughs> Well, how about the mouth organ? Okay, sounds good. It's pretty simple. Just open the box and blow. <laughs> no. Yep, that's great. Best I ever heard. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just because you shake your head from side to side. I'm trying to bring some flavor to it. You're, you're bringing plenty of flavor to everything, but... It... Okay, uh, what do you want to play? Something southern? Sure. follow that easy no you that's the only thing I can do <laughs> best I ever had See, the, the cat tries to kill a zombie, but the zombie can't die from a gunshot because it's a zombie, and so the cat uses ass power. <laughs> it was rejected by the writers of The Walking Dead. Those idiots! <laughs> anyway, girls, you've been great tonight. You really added something to the show, and by that something, I mean youthfulness. <laughs> you were awesome. You really cheered up the horse. I haven't seen the back end that active. <laughs> In some time. So I got you guys, I got you guys a gift, uh, which I, I hope was appropriate. Sorry, Jeff, I'm just trying to, you know, hide the gift to the surprise moment. No, I understand. All right. So I got you guys a gift for spring break. I thought you kids might like uh, one. Uh, uh, here's a copy of uh, Twilight Ooh. by Stephanie Meyer. You can have that one. And the other one, and you guys are going to have to share this because it's the last copy we have. It's a copy of Regis Philbin's autobiography, <laughs> I'm Only One Man. Happy spring break, everybody. Yay.